too. There's a mushy. There's mushy. Martha, say hi. Hello, my historical fashion friends. Today, we are going to be putting together this Inkle Loom, which I received as a gift a couple months ago. And I know a lot of you liked my DIY weaving loom with um, my two kitchen chairs and the table, uh, but unfortunately, it was not ideal for having a 13 pound cat that liked to climb on top of it. And uh, a couple of times I had to jump up and grab the chair because it was about to fall down after he jumped on top of it. So yeah, um, today I'll be putting together something that hopefully will be more cat safe and also probably go into my sewing room and not my actual apartment. If you hear meowing, I have four foster kittens and they're very excited to be running around and uh, they're just, they're so cute, but so loud. So this is the box it came in. I haven't taken it apart or really looked at it at all, except to just be like, oh, a loom. So let's see what's inside. Okay. There's a book. How to learn to weave. Learn to weave on the Inkle Loom. And <clears throat> this is from Ashford Wheels and Looms, which um, I got this, well, I guess my mother-in-law got it for me, at um, the spinnery store. So, uh, it was like on Etsy and uh, hopefully this will make me do a lot more weaving because it's going to be more convenient and I could theoretically take it somewhere with me like a park or something and um, it's going to be a lot easier also to pause because I couldn't really pause with T2 Kitty because I couldn't really pause with my kitchen table because if I left it overnight, my uh, big cat would be like on top of it trying to get strings. So anyway, it came with this book, which I figure might have instructions, but... Oh, it's just how to actually like how to actually weave with the loom, not how to put the loom together. So, here's a picture of the loom though, which I think is gonna be helpful. Okay, let's see what else is in here. We have this long boy. There's sandpaper. Wood glue. I also have extra glue just in case. This. And this other piece. A um, container of the things you use to put it together. And more of those. This, I think, is what you use to tighten it. So. And, ah, of course the shuttle. Um, these two things. Uh, this long dowel. This one with a hole in it. And then a bunch of these, which I assume are the ones that you wrap stuff around. Okay, I feel like there should be instructions on how to put this together, but, uh, maybe not. We're going to figure it out. We are going to, okay, okay, here it says assemble your loom. Oh, you will need, you will need screwdriver, hammer, damp cloth, 
handle wax or soap and glue. Be right back. Okay, we've got everything. Uh, looks like we're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver top. This seems fine. Okay. This is a really cute soap that's shaped like a paw print that my mother-in-law sent me for wedding favor options and um, they're really adorable. And there's also ones in cats and dogs uh, because uh, one of our registry items is to like donate to either a cat or dog charity because I love cats and my husband loves dogs. Okay. Please read the instructions carefully. Identify the parts and note the assemble sequence. Use the sandpaper supply to remove any sharp edges or corners. To make assembly easier, use candle wax on the screws. Okay. To protect the kiln-dried wood from climatic changes and prevent it standard dirty, we recommend wood surfaces be waxed or sealed. Oh. Oh, please do this after assembly. We will not be worrying about that today. Okay, so first it wants, first it wants me to put the glue for these. What am I using the damp towel for? Oh, to wipe the glue. Oh, I don't want to use this one then. I just made this kitchen towel. I'm going to get a different one. Unloved damp towel acquired. Oh, Martha, come here. Martha. Okay, use this one instead. T2, come say hi. This is T2. This is Thomas the second, but she's a girl, so she's Thomasina. And she's very cute. Yes, you are very cute. All right, it wants me to put the spacer dowel in first, which is this one. Okay, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. It says to make sure these holes are on the same side. Now it says apply, this is the spacer dowel, and we should apply a thin, oh, okay. That just comes right out. Maybe we should shake the glue and then okay. yeah I guess that's a thin film I mean that's just not Is it in there? Kind of feels like it's in there. Check that they are parallel. Whoa. Okay.
I mean, that is definitely not in far enough. I'm like really afraid it's going to break or something. Oh, getting closer. Oh yeah, that's really okay. We've done it. S step one complete. Okay, apply the glue into here. Like, I feel, I feel like I don't even need glue because it's literally, like, so hard to put these things in, in the first place. Oh. Okay. Secure with screws. Okay. Okay, so screws are in. Great. Warp peg. That's this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now it wants me to do like all, all of these. It wants me to do all of these ones. So, all right. says just do it for the rest of them.
know. This one is like sticking out farther than the others. I guess it's gonna stay like that though. Mm -hmm. Attach the two feet to the base with screws. Uh, by the way, this helps uh, if you just put the screws in first and then you can line them up with the holes. Took me a long time to figure that out. A long time of trying to put screws in and not being able to line it up properly. to push, okay, here's a bolt. Now what's this? This must go, I don't know. This seems to be like this. What's this? What's this? And what is this? Okay, let's look at pictures of this one. <clears throat> oh, it's a clamp. It's a completely separate thing. Okay. Well, you just stay over there. Okay, this... This is gonna go in here. I'm gonna just leave it there for a second. Just get it out of the way. Okay, okay. Does it show me? Okay. It doesn't show me the other side, which would have been maybe good. Uh, push the bolt through the tension peg. Okay. We've done that. Okay, and then that goes here, right? Secure with washer and knob. Okay. 
Okay. Tighten the knob to pull the head of the bolt into the wood. Oh, what? I gotta show you this up close. Hold on. Okay, let's watch this. Ready? As I'm doing this, it's literally going into the wood. Literally, my brain just like exploded watching this. All right. Whoa. Whoa, y'all. All right. All right, next, like last step. I did not even use all this glue, which I feel like means I did not put enough glue. Didn't even use all, I definitely didn't put enough glue. All right, well, now we got it. This is so I put some string on. I mean, like, to start it. Now, I want to leave this video, and like, so a lot of my videos are sped up, but I think I'm going to leave this video in, like, real time for you all. I mean, cutting out, like, parts that's kind of, like, nonsense. Oh, it says leave two millimeters. Hold on, that's not two millimeters. That seems like two millimeters. Is that two millimeters? That seems fine. Okay. That, okay. Now I guess I have to put like this clamp, which there's no instructions for the clamp here, but I do see the clamp like right here. I do see the clamp right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna make a clamp. I might speed that up. Uh, actually, this is the flat side should be. Do it the wrong way. Oh, when you put it this way, it just goes right in. Okay. Then you gotta do this. Right? And Did I break it? Good question. A very good question. It's probably fine. Yeah. Look at that clamp. That seems Okay. Let's look at it. 
Did I do it? I think I did. I think I did it. I think this this seems right. It says I did not use this soap at all. Zero soap was used. Okay. We did it. We did it. And you know what? We didn't need really super detailed instructions because we figured it out anyway. And it says now to wait 24 hours for the glue to dry before using it. So I will wait 24 hours for the glue to dry before using it. And now y'all can stay tuned and subscribe for more weaving content because I've been really wanting to upgrade some of the pieces that I have made over the past few months with some homemade trims. So uh, hopefully I will be able to make a lot, maybe make some more belts, some like straps for bags or something. Um, I've been wanting to make like a little DIY like rock climbing bag uh, with, you know, like scrap fabric that I have left over from projects and I could make the uh, little strap, strap with some tablet woven uh, belt, belt, tablet woven, tablet woven bands. So be sure to give this video a like, uh, let me know if this was helpful to you in the comments and I will put a link hopefully to this exact one, hopefully they still have it. And if you're putting it together at home, you can watch this video and uh, hopefully make it even faster than I did. So uh, let me know if you get it. Uh, it's just not sponsored. I just like was thinking, oh, if I was at home and I couldn't figure out how to make it, I would wanna watch a video. So here's a video. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that the book comes with, that it comes with has um, a bunch of like different patterns on how to make different bands. I think it has a bunch. Nope, it has one. Oh, you know what? It does have how to make words in your band in the back, which is pretty cool. And I have never uh, done that because I, I don't do the weaving where it like uses this peg to like attach to that. I don't, I use, I do card weaving. So this is kind of showing you how to do it without, without cards, but I, I do card weaving. So I don't use the um, little string things that they use. Oh, but also oh, one more thing. When I get to 100 subscribers, I want to like uh, do a video where I like go to the grocery store dressed up as my Foundations Revealed costume because I think that'd be like really funny uh, and fun to do. So uh, help me get to 100 subscribers and we will do that video. Cool, subscribe.